Hi guys, Rose here with the Kathleen Moon, and this is going to be a video where I talk about my 2016 journals and just the way that I'm going to be tracking everything this year. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I want to show you guys is <clears throat> this little lovely. So I don't know if anyone, if, if you guys, um, keep track of your cycles or whatnot. This is for, you know, those of us who have periods. <laughs> um, but it is a new thing for me. Let me just fix this camera. It's a new thing for me this year um, to kind of track my menstrual cycle. And um, I'm doing this strictly because I am um, just trying to get used to the fact that I am no longer on birth control. It's been about almost a year, so I'm really excited. It's been almost a year that I have been off of the pill, and um, that for me is a big deal because I was on the pill for quite a number of years, um, 10, 10, 11 years. Um, <clears throat> and the fact that I am now off the pill and I want to actually, you know, I'm trying to get pregnant and all of that, keeping track of my menstrual cycle has been a big deal for me because, um, when I was on the pill, it was kind of, um, I guess you could say like a, a fake period every month. And um, I never really learned to track my cycle or to pay attention to my menstrual cycle. And so this little pocket calendar has actually been really helpful for me to track my periods, to track um, the days that, you know, my husband and I are romantic for the hopefully when we conceive one day. Um, so basically I just jot down um, all of those magical days and it's kind of similar to <clears throat> the phone app that, that you could track your menstrual cycle with. I use that as well because sometimes I forget that I have this in my pocket or in my purse and um, I'll forget to track um, track it on here. So if I have it on my phone then later on I'll go back and do it on this. So this is my little pocket calendar, keep calm and carry on, where I track my little menstrual cycle and all my little personal stuff. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you is my brand new planner for 2016. <clears throat> so this planner I purchased at um, Target, and I've never used a planner before in my life. I've always just used journals. Um, I've always used notebooks and whatnot to plan stuff, but I never kept track of anything with a planner. So keeping a planner for my business for 2016 is definitely a, a new thing that I'm going to be trying. Um, and so far it's been so good. So I don't, I really don't want to <laughs> show too much because um, it's personal, the client readings, but here is an empty page of, um, what the planner looks like. So it gives you the day of the week and a lot of space to write in it. So what I do is, and I apologize for the light going all crazy. It's the, it's the way my little webcam thing is. But anyway, um, so the, the fact that there's like a lot of space to write for each day gives me a lot of room to be able to write for my, um, clients. So when I put down how much they paid for a reading, um, and then, you know, a little bit of information about them. So I'm really liking the planner thing. This is definitely going to get something for me to get used to because I'm used to using a little journal like this. This was my business journal for last year for 2015 and part of um, 2014. So as you can see, like in here, I would put down the information of the orders that I was receiving for my readings and whatnot. Um, but I wanted to try something different, and um, I think it was Elise from Wild Moon Tarot. She actually was showing off her um, her planner, and I was like, you know what? That's a really good idea. I should do something like that for my for my business and my readings and all that to keep track in kind of like a calendar format and make it a little bit more easier on myself. So that is what I decided to do. So Elise, thank you for, <laughs> for inspiring me. Um, and then I was also inspired by Leela Hell because she has been showing her um, journals and stuff. So I wanted to kind of do a video to show you guys that too. So that is the planner I'm going to be using for 2016 for the Cackling Moon. Um, this journal, I actually purchased this earlier in the year, last year. Um, but I have been using him to kind of jot down 
all of my ideas for the cackling moon. So he is jam packed with ideas for posts and readings and you know just different things that I have. So I have been using him for that. Um, so I'd love to have him around. I keep him next to my reading table so that when I do um, work on a spread or if I am you know just jotting ideas down that come to me I will put them in this book. Um, so I keep him by the table for that. And then I have this journal. I got this one at Target not too long ago, and it's, it's upside down. <laughs> um, and this journal is really cool because the pages are hot pink and it's lined. So I thought that that was so pretty. Um, I keep this one with me all the time when I go to work, and I've already started jotting stuff down. But basically, I put down spread ideas. Um, I have like New Year's resolutions in there, just kind of like just random stuff. But for the most part, I really wanted to use this journal for um, custom reading spreads because in my shop, um, I do have the option for my clients to choose to have a custom reading done with me. Um, and that's basically if a certain they have a certain question that they have for the cards, but I don't offer a specific reading that they're looking for. Um, so if they do a custom reading, I always create it, you know, just custom made for them. So I want to be able to keep it all in one book. So that's what this journal is basically for. Um, but I have been putting other random thoughts because I do keep it with me since it's lightweight and it's like real flexible. It bends and stuff. Um, I just throw it in my bag and I go to work. And so I keep it with me all the time. So it does have other stuff in it, but that's mainly the main <laughs> the main purpose of um, that book. And lastly, actually I today I did buy another journal. It's kind of similar to this one, but um, it's meant for my ideas, um, random stuff, random thoughts, um, poetry and, and all that. So I wanted a separate journal for that. So I do have another one, but I didn't bring it out of the bag and it's in the other room and I was lazy and I didn't want to go get it. So <laughs> that's another journal I have. And then there's this one. So this guy, I just bought him yesterday. Um, I went to Barnes and Noble and it says, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss it, you will land among the stars. So this journal is going to go with a book I am studying called Moon Time. And basically, the Moon Time book is about your menstruation and your um, the moon cycle. So I'm studying that because, like I said, with this little pocket calendar, keeping track of my period and all that, um, I've really been interested in the moon cycle and really been interested in just getting more involved with my womanhood. <laughs> so this journal is specifically for that because I am going to be doing full on study with this book and I'm going to be creating something with the cackling moon. So this is going to be a project that I'm going to be working on for the next couple months that you guys are going to start seeing um, evolve and eventually it's going to be put up for you guys to enjoy. So that is just like a little sneak peek with that. I'm really excited for that, and I'm really excited to share all that with you guys, but not yet. I'm still working on it. So that's what this journal is going to be. This journal is just going to be all about moon time, moon cycles, um, periods, womanhood, empowerment, all that kind of stuff. So I'm really excited for that journal. Um, and that's basically it. So just a couple journals. I don't think I overdid it this year. I think I I kind of toned it down a little bit. Um I think I'm going to retire my spreads journal, <laughs> this one, <laughs> this is the, jar the journal that I was keeping track of all of the readings that I ever created. I have pages upon pages of spreads that I just wrote out. I might be retiring him and just using him for reference, um, but as far as any other spreads that I do create, I'll probably put it in a whole different book because he's jam-packed and I could definitely use another journal for that. Um, but as far as journals go, I think that's it. I think that is really the only thing that I have that's it. Um, I did get this deck the other night and I'm so bad because it's not like I 
you know, I don't really need any more decks. But I purchased Life Purpose Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. I personally love Doreen Virtue. Um, I love her decks. So these cards are really cool. I was playing with them last night. I think they're going to be cool for single card pools. Um, but really neat messages coming through for life purpose stuff. And the edges are gilded. So they're, real, they're golden. And then this is the back. So these are just some cards that you might be seeing some more of on my YouTube channel and whatnot. Um, but it is a new deck that I purchased. So I've always wanted to get um, kind of like a life purpose type of a deck to work with because um, that is one of the most common, aside from love questions, it's one of the most common questions I receive. So I think that's going to come in handy with readings. But that's basically all I have to show you guys. Um, I'm just really excited for this new year and the fact that I have so many ideas coming up and stuff. So it's going to be really cool to share that with you guys. Um, but anyway, that is my video. So um, if you guys, you know, are collecting your own journals and you're doing journaling for yourself this year, post some videos I want to see. Let me know that you did that. Tag me or um, at least let me know. I really would love to see your videos. And um, I hope everyone's having a beautiful January and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.